Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. All right, so we've got the High Priestess as your energy. So you could have Cancer, Pisces in your chart. Also Virgo for me as a reader. Um, or you could be dealing with one of those signs. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. All right, viewing your person as the Prince of Pentacles in reverse and the connection as the Four of Swords. Okay, so things seem like they're kind of on a pause here or not moving. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Your, your person is the Queen of Cups. They're viewing you, Sag, as the Fool in reverse, so maybe not wanting to take a risk or a leap of faith. And the connection as the Three of Wands. So it feels like your person is a bit more maybe optimistic than you are. Um, you could also be mirroring each other at this time. We get the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. Two of Swords in the middle of this reading, Moon and Libra. And the Prince of Cups. Okay, so I would expect some sort of message or some sort of love offer or proposal here. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse can be an indication of you know, yes, but not right now. Like things have been put on hold. And I do get there's an energy here of stasis or stagnancy. Not a whole lot of movement going on here, Sag. You're in this energy of the High Priestess. So this is you trusting your intuition. Um, but the High Priestess has pulled back her energy. You know, this can be maybe, I mean, I don't know that you've ghosted this person, but it feels like you kind of pulled back your energy. They probably find you quite mysterious, quite alluring. You're both very intuitive. You're very connected on the spiritual levels. So the High Priestess energy can also be you're keeping things really close to your chest. You're not talking about your feelings. Um, Empress energy. Look at you, Sag, Taurus, and Libra energy. So this is you really honoring the divine feminine within. Now remember, my readings are not gender specific, and we all have both masculine and feminine energies, but the Empress is someone who's holding back, trusting her intuition, not rushing into things. She's not going to chase. Um, you know, she's also somebody who's just, you know, that you're, I feel like you're in a really high vibration, Sag, looking beautiful, looking good, you know, doing things for yourself. It just, it feels really nice. You're viewing your person as the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So someone who's either kind of not putting in a lot of effort, maybe a little bit lazy at this time when it comes to the connection, not moving forward, not communicating. Your person is also in that Queen of Cups in an energy of waiting. So I do feel you could be mirroring each other and Cancerian energy, your person could be at a distance. I feel like you you feel this person is quite guarded. You feel like they're a soulmate here with the chariot card with you know these two sphinxes um, here really representing soulmate energy. Um, I always get, I, I'm getting like a really strong um, rosemary smell. Some of you could be cooking with rosemary or you like rosemary or you have rosemary essential oil, which is really, really good for focus. Um, so again, your person might be really focused on something other than this connection, like work or school or something like that. Um, you see your person moving forward, advancing in their career, in their life, but not putting a whole lot of effort into this connection or not talking to you about it a whole lot. And you see the connection as the four of swords. So I do feel that you are in an energy of hmm, maybe this is a missed opportunity. There's not a whole lot going on. Um, we're both kind of in our corners of the world or we're both in, you know, we've both sort of pulled back our energy here. But I also feel this is an energy of hope that things can be healed. And we see the two of swords. Yeah, so I do feel that, you know, you this is again mirroring energy, that really strong 
that really strong moon and Libra energy coming out here, like being at a stalemate, not a whole lot happening in this connection. Again, it could be that your person can't put a whole lot of time and effort into this because of school. I just heard law school for some of you, um, but they're finishing up a degree or they need to work or maybe they had to travel for work even. even. So it's like a lot of my, a lot of my Saggies, you realize, you recognize that things aren't moving here, but I also feel like there's a, there's an energy of hope but there's also a little bit of that doubt that creeps in with that Ace of Pentacles. So your person has a lot of love for you. And again, look at these mirrored images, which I didn't even look at or see earlier, but I feel like you two mirror each other. You probably have a lot of similarities in your birth chart or a lot of synchronicities. Yeah, your person, three of swords in reverse, they're not moving forward. They could be healing from heartache. Um, they could want to heal things with you. We're also seeing double threes coming out. So important number sequence for you. Um, actually we see three, three, three in this reading, but the three of swords energy in reverse tells me that your person is a little bit blocked right now. Like they've pulled back to heal something. There's just such a strong stalemate energy. There's such a strong mirroring energy. And again, I see that. Wow. So we see like you're viewing your person as really moving forward, most likely in their career or in other aspects of their life, but not being able to give a whole lot to the connection. And with the fool card, they're seeing you as not wanting to take a risk, but they see you as the emperor energy. And we've got divine counterparts coming out, emperor and empress. So they see you as very powerful even though you're very you're heavy in your divine feminine energy, uh, Sag, they're seeing you as their masculine, or they're seeing you as somebody who's well well balanced, somebody who's strong, but you're not willing to take a risk. And again, for some of you, that risk might be moving, changing cities, states, countries to be with one another. Your person, look at that. Look at what just fell out. Two of Cups in reverse. They see the connection as you two being soulmates in separation, but the three of wands is an energy of hope for me where they're like holding on to hope that things really can move. It feels like something like along the line, Sag, of life got in the way here. Either you two met each other and you were both like, you know, you know, one of you didn't live there and has to, you know, go back home or, or something like work is getting in the way. The nine of pentacles in reverse, I mean, obviously can indicate that somebody here is not single, but I'm not really getting that. I'm kind of getting that, you know, yes, it is time to decide about this relationship. Um, but I feel like somebody more than anything, like work is taking over um, and they don't have a whole lot to give to this connection. So I can see that you're both kind of unsure about the connection, but there's a really strong pull here. Um, there's a really strong soulmate connection. And what I see with the two of swords in reverse is for my Saggies, a lot of you, whatever's been blocking this connection, there's going to be communication and decision is going to be made and it's leading you to the 10 of pentacles. Wow. So trust your intuition. Some of you, um, are going to really, you two are going to end up together. That's what I'm getting, but there's some sort of pause right now. Again, finishing school, having to travel, having to take care of family, having to wrap up something. Um, the Prince of Cups tells me this person's probably coming in with a love offer. Um, this stalemate is going to be broken. And the King of Wands, wow. And I, I feel like you're manifesting this. I also feel like they're coming in with a big offer here, Sag. And the High Priestess again. So Pisces, Cancer, Energy, trust your intuition. You're both very, very spiritually and intuitively connected. And with the Emperor and the Empress out, I mean, I think this very well could be your person. The Two of Swords making a decision to commit. Remember, the Ten of Pentacles is an energy of, you know, long-term commitment, spending decades together, taking care of kids, dogs, old people, shared bank accounts. You know, this is about creating a legacy together. So whatever this pause is, I feel like your person's coming towards you. I really do. And you just need to trust your intuition. Things might be on hold or quiet right now. So let's see what lessons my Saggies are meant to learn here or what they need to know. And we get success. Yeah. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Yeah. For a lot of you, this, this is going to be a beautiful, very successful relationship and spirits telling you not to worry. Things are on pause, but it doesn't mean things are over or it doesn't mean that things aren't moving towards higher levels of commitment and building something real and tangible together. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. 
and your person, yeah, they're they're coming in to put in the work here, Sag. I know what I can do. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. So it kind of feels like, I'm surprised I didn't see the 10 of wands here, but I feel like your person's got a lot on their plate and I kind of feel like they've got a plan um, and that they need to wrap something up or they need to, you know, they need to move or make some sacrifices here, you know, one or both of you to be together. But I feel they're in this energy of, you know what, we can do this. It might take some time, but we can do this. And look at the, look at the energy. We get yellow, this sort of like, this sort of like beigey yellow and purple and we get the same colors on their side. So you two mirror each other in so many ways. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, this connection feels like it's definitely being tested. And a lot of you don't don't sink into that worst case scenario that, you know, it's a missed opportunity or it's not going to happen. Um, things are changing beneath the surface. And the high priestess is also a testament to that, um, that there is a lot changing you know, beneath the surface and aligning things. I feel like this is a connection that's truly meant to be, especially with the Emperor and the Empress both coming out in the upright like that. So stay in a high vibration, Sag. I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised, but I don't even think surprised is the word. I think intuitively you know that this is your person. So your advice is the abundant universe will provide. Yeah, so the universe has got your back here. There's a cycle coming to an end. Just trust that things are moving in the right direction. And now is a lucky time. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Luck is on your side. The universe has got your back. Now your person is working on clearing out the clutter, whatever that means for them. Letting go, getting rid of options, getting rid of... For some of you, they're moving. That's what I'm getting and be loyal to what you love. Yeah, this person's loyal to you. We have double tens coming out, actually triple ten. So again, something's coming to an end here and let it shine. And another 10, <laughs> 46, 10, 19, 28. So 10, 10, 10, lots of number sequences here in your reading. So pay attention to the universe talking to you through numbers on the clock, on license plates, invoice numbers, addresses, whatever it might be. Mm, these are not the cards I'm meant to pull. Let's see. All right. So I feel you've just got this peacock, let it shine energy. You've got lush luxury coming your way in terms of a relationship. Lots of abundance is what I'm getting. I'm also getting two successful people, two very successful people coming together. Power couple energy, emperor and empress. I love it. All right, let's see what action they're going to take towards you in the next week or two. So Hermit, so this is Virgo energy. So it feels like, you know, we are coming to the end of Virgo season. So it feels like very soon they're going to reach out. Maybe they've been a little bit quiet. They've been looking at the details. I'm seeing Big Ben back there. So some of you, there's, you know, there's a UK connection. Five of Cups energy in reverse. They're coming in. There's going to be an unexpected love offer that's going to be very healing and we get the magician that's taking action, um, that's, you know, communicating. So yeah, this person's going to be in the next week or two going to be communicating, wanting to heal things, an unexpected offer from this Prince of Cups for you, my dear Sagittarius. Oh, good. I love this. All right, let's see. I don't know what I said. Oh, gosh. And great at the same time. So it came out. Oh, <laughs> Just making up English words over here. All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Sagis, please. What else do we need to know? Oh, you know what? This is not the deck I'm supposed to be using either. All right, so. <laughs> All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Sagis. What does this person want to say to them? I feel so happy with you. Yes, I don't know what you want. Okay, so again, I feel there's an important conversation coming through. And I would do it all again. Yeah, they don't want to change a thing. And I feel like they're actually not even too focused on the past here. I feel like they're just focused on creating this future, that Ten of Pentacles with you. So I'm going to leave it here, Sagittarius. Beautiful messages, beautiful energy. I love this high priestess energy. Some of you, you know, you are connecting. You are either empaths, psychics, tarot readers yourselves, or this person is. But you're so connected here with this person regardless. All right, so um, if you're interested in a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that, in, all that info is down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Love and light. Take care.